process that I use as Intel's futurist to look 10 to 15 years out is called future casting. And future casting is a mix of social science and computer science and statistical and economic data and then a lot of conversations. So I always start with humans. I always start with social science. We have a team of ethnographers and anthropologists that fan out across the world and study people. They don't study markets, they don't study countries, they study people, human beings, people's lives, how they interact with each other, how they interact with their schools, how they interact with their religion, how they go shopping. Because what we're trying to do is understand humans first and foremost, and again, understand how we can make their lives better. And once we have that basis, that understanding of, of human beings, then we say, okay, how can we use this, all the really cool stuff that we develop inside of Intel, how can we use that and actually make their lives better by putting that into people's lives? And then we start to kind of get an understanding of what we can do. And then we look at the statistical data. We look at the economic data, the GDP, the broadband rollout, population, all that stuff, kind of the math of the future. And then I hit the road. I go out all over the world talking to people. And I tell them, this is what I think the world in the future is going to look like. What do you think? And I'll talk to universities, I'll talk to militaries, I'll talk to consumers, really anybody who kind of has an opinion about where things could be going. And then they start to tell me. I say, this is the future that I'm seeing. What do you see? And they tell me about the future they want. They tell me about the future they don't want. And it allows me to really refine it. It allows me really to kind of get a much clearer understanding. And then sometimes I'll even use a little bit of science fiction. I'll use a little bit of science fiction based upon science fact as a way of, of prototyping out the future. Because the, the joke always used to be that if Henry Ford had gone out and asked people what they had wanted, everybody would have said a faster horse. So you really kind of can't go to people and say, what do you want your life to be like in 10 to 15 years? But you can actually give them a piece of science fiction. If you give them a story about the future, then they have an opinion. I mean, science fiction has this wonderful magic. It allows people to have a conversation about the future. It gives them that language to talk about the future that they want. And ultimately, I take all of those things and put them together into what's called an experience-based model that says this is what it'll feel like to be a human in the year 2020 to 2025. If you look at things like um, Star Trek, if you look at things like 2001 by Stanley Kubrick, all of these different people, all of those different authors, all the different filmmakers were actually focusing on the human side. They weren't focusing on the technology at all. They were using the technology to kind of move us through the human drama. So I think because of that, you see in Stanley Kubrick's 2001, you see video phones, you see tablets, and then Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, he had a very specific vision, but it was a very human vision. He wanted to have all of these cultures coming together and working together, and that's really what Star Trek was about. So when you had the communicator, the tricorder, all the things that we're starting to see happen, they were simply because he was using them as a way to bring people together and have people interact with one another. So really, in the future casting work that I do, I don't really make predictions. What I say is I, I don't want to make a prediction so that I can be right. I don't want to be the futurist who goes, I got it right. I want to get it right. I don't want to be right. I want to get it right. I want to be able to make technologies that make people's lives better. I want to make technologies that grab people's imaginations. And I think that's really the goal. Ultimately, I'm a builder. So ultimately, I want to, I want to get it right.